Hey there, welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this video I'm going to teach you how to play the piano accompaniment part to No Time To Die by Billie Eilish. So it's mostly the same sort of chords all the way through, so I'll do the odd bit of singing here and there each section and I'll do a full playthrough without vocals at the very end and the full chord song lyric structure is listed in the description below. So this one's in the key of E minor. So on the screen now are all the notes of the scale of E minor. So the chords and the melody are formed using those notes. So we're going to look at the intro first. Um, this intro also makes up a bit of the pre-chorus and the post-chorus as well. So here is middle C for reference, so if you locate that pitch on your keyboard or piano, I'm going to teach both hands together. So you're going to play E's at the same time. And the right hand's going to go E, B, F sharp, B, G, B, B, B. So I'll do that again. And then that's going to change to a C in the left hand. And in the right hand, you're going to play E, C, F sharp, C, G, C, B, C. I do that again. So I'll join that in from the top. come to A in the left hand. In the right hand we're going to play E, C sharp, F sharp, C sharp, G, C sharp, B, C sharp. Do that again. And then you're going to come to a B in the left hand and in the right hand you're going to play D sharp, F sharp. <laughs> so I'll just join all of that together from the top. And then that repeats again. chord. So you can play octaves in the left hand if you want or just stick to playing single notes. So we have D sharp, F sharp and B and then that's the intro. So if you wanted to be even more specific with the intro, whenever you play the B, the top note, it's actually playing it in octaves. So I'll just play the intro um, but it, it means it's more jumping going on. So if you wanted to make it slightly more advanced um, you could incorporate that. So I'll just show, demonstrate that. So now we're on to the first. The first chord is an E minor 9. So you're going to play a single E or octave E's in the bass. And the right hand you're going to play G, B, E and F sharp. So this is the ninth note in the scale of E minor. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's the top voice of the chord. So you have to form the rest of the chord from that top note. 
So you're going to hold that for two beats. And then you're going to come to a C major second inversion. So C is in the bass or just a single C. And then G, C, E in the right hand for two beats. And then we have A major. So A is in the left hand. And in the right hand, we've got A, C sharp, an E. So after you've played that, you can incorporate these really high notes. So it's going C, E, G, F sharp. So I'll just do what we've done so far. Then you're going to come back to the E minor 9 and C major. A major again. And then this time the higher notes are going B, A, G, F sharp. Back to E minor 9. C major. A major. And then it's going to turn to A minor, specifically this inversion, but you could just play if you wanted to. Um, or if you wanted to be really accurate. This is a top voice, so it's being it's going E, A, and C. Next we have the C, so it's going in the left hand C, G, and then with this C you're going to play either a single E if you can't stretch octaves, but if you can stretch octaves, do octaves. Then go E, G, F sharp, G. G, and then just single Bs, that's it. So I'll do that bit again. And then you pretty much repeat all that again. So it's incredibly similar. So the first verse is longer than, it's twice as long as the second one. So I'll just carry on playing it and then I'll do, and then I'll sing the whole first verse for you at the end. So we've got the E minor 9 again, then C major, then the A major, and then to the A minor. Then before we go back into the E minor 9, you've got this F sharp, G, E minor, C, A, and then this bit again into the E minor 9, C major, A major, A minor, and then into this bit again, so the C, E, F sharp, G, and then this time you're just going to hold down a B dominant 7 chord, so that's B, D sharp, F sharp and A and then it'd be into the pre-chorus. So I'm gonna play the whole first verse now and sing at the same time. I should have known I'd leave alone Just goes to show Okay, so now we're into the pre-chorus. So it's incredibly similar to the intro. So it's going C first. And then the E minor. And 
then we have the A minor this time, but so without the C sharp. And then you just hold that B chord down again. So I'll do that again. To the chorus. So I'll just sing that section for you. Was I stupid to love you? Was I reckless to help? Was it obvious to everybody else that I'd fallen for? And then we're into the chorus. So it's incredibly similar. It's just the E minor 9. C major, A minor, four times. There are some high notes in there as well, um, but if you wanted to sing and play this at the same time, I think just playing the chords um, might be better. So I'll just demonstrate the chorus. And um, we've also got, before the E minor nine, we've got the B, G a couple of times as well. So you'll see that um, when I play it now. Then I fall And then it's into the intro again, um, but this time you could add some more left hand notes. So you could go E, B, E, B, E, B, E, B, C, G, C. Then A, E, A. And then B, F sharp. So I'll just demonstrate that. second verse which is on the screen now it's incredibly similar to the first verse it's just half the length so I'm just going to play through that now and sing it So at the end there, I played the B7 for two, and then I changed the A to just a B major chord. And then it's into the chorus again. Now we're into the next post-chorus. So again, it's like playing the intro or the second pre-chorus, but you just play it through twice. So this is a bit where Billy does her amazing, epic, big note. I'm not gonna do that because it would just deafen you. <laughs> There's just no time to die. Now 
right into the outro. So now we are going to play these high notes, so it's sort of playing in unison with what she's singing. So I'll just, the notes are on the screen, so I'll just play through that. B, C, B, G, F sharp, E. B, C, B, G, F sharp, E. G, A, B, G, F sharp, G, E. And the left hand, she's going to play single notes, so I'll just play through that. E. C. And then we've got the James Bond chord. <laughs> I'm going to call it a G augmented add major seven. This is played on a guitar. You're going to keep those E's held down from before and then we've got G, B, D sharp and F sharp. So I'll just sing and play that whole outro. For me once, for me twice, are you death for paradise? Now you just no time to die. So now I'm going to do a full playthrough. Um, again, remember the full course song lyrics are linked in the description below and this is going to be without vocals.
So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request, you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed. All requests are noted and considered. So I look forward to seeing you over there.